Reverend Miller, I, I, I tell you, after, uh, today is Sunday and after worship service and then my church council meeting, I don't know how much of a dynamic pastor I am, but I'm here today to stand with Reverend Clinton Miller and the other clergy that are gathered here. And I want to salute Reverend Miller for his leadership on this issue. That is important. He is a pastor. He grew up in Brooklyn. And he is a former scholarship athlete and star athlete in the CHSS, the Catholic League, which used to be the toughest league in New York City. And so he knows the issue. He knows what's moral. We know what's moral. He's a man of the community. So we know the stakes for the community. And we also know, and he knows well, that will support this professional sports franchise. The Ratner family and organization, the Nets will reap years and years untold millions of dollars of resources from this community. And all we're saying is to be fair, do what's right, and give back something to this community that they will be fleecing, I mean, enjoying support from for many, many years to come. And so I know that many people are excited about the Brooklyn Nets coming. And I know many people are excited about Jay-Z's involvement. But I'm glad that this group of clergy and elected officials and most of all, the people power out here have gathered to say that we are not just going to get caught up in the hype. We are not simply just going to about a professional franchise coming to this borough because there are issues at stake that have to deal with justice. People were dis homes that this facility have been uh, turned upside down. organization is going to and tax subsidies that they have enjoyed. We should at least hold their feet. Maybe most of the fans won't have the temerity to stand up to this organization, but I'm so glad that people have come here today to say we will stand up and demand justice for this great community from this organization. Thank you. God bless you. Let's keep the fight going.